Secondly, reminds them in verse 28, he's the forerunner. That's his role. That's his lane in the church. He says, I am not the Christ. I'm sure people thought he was. I'm sure people thought that John the baptizer was some kind of eschatological figure, which means end times figure. Oh, man, the end times are here. To which John would have said, yeah, they're here. The king is about to break it in. He's about to kick the door wide open, and he's about to inaugurate the kingdom. But I'm not the Christ. I'm just a voice crying out in the wilderness. And he compares it. This is a great image. He compares it to being the best man at a wedding. Have you ever been a best man? Guys, anybody? Raise your hand if you've ever been a best man. It feels good, doesn't it? It feels good. Now, my son just got married due to lag to Carol Hernandez lag. Yo necesito practicar mi español. I need to practice my Spanish. That's what that was. Was I right? Was I right, Carol? Good. And Judah had a lot of guys to choose from to be his best man. He had four guys. And they were gonna, he was going to have four. But that was a little overkill. So I gave them 20 bucks. And I said, hey, well, can I be your best man? It was an honor to be his best man. You know why? Because it wasn't about me. I got so much joy watching my son win. Win. He won the most beautiful bride inside and out. He won the day. It was their day. It was not my day. It was his day. Everybody rejoiced. And when Mama Lag sang at the end with the family, and I lip singed, I didn't sing out loud. Everybody was crying. There were grown men in here crying. Because Mama, who sang over her baby when he was little, was singing over him when he's older. And we're rejoicing. It's their day. John is saying the same thing. I don't care about a title. I'm not the Christ. Listen, when Pastor Barry Lag was not pastoring, and that guy who was the pastor of a 3,000-person church was in multiple adulterous relationships, when he was counseling me, I did not care about a title. Because in my heart, I knew I was Pastor Barry without a title. God had broken me of that. He had broken me of that. I was no longer a failure who had to close his own church plant. Praise be to God, we got every single person into a Bible-believing church when we closed down that college church in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, next to LSU. You know what people say is, does that church still exist today? I say, yes, it does. That church still exists today, and they are in other churches helping other churches out. I, I had to be broken of that. The wars that rage inside of our hearts are many. And John says, man, Jesus is the groom. I'm just the best man. I am just the best man, and it is his day. It is his day. See, they forgot that they are here to serve the bridegroom. And when you and I long for the glory that belongs only to God, we find ourselves frustrated and disappointed and angry and you know, we don't get the public recognition we need or we think we deserve. And John says it's all about Jesus. And then he says those famous last words. He must increase, but I must decrease. Do you realize that these are the Baptist's final recorded words? Final recorded words in John's gospel. That's on purpose. John reaffirms for the last recorded time the baptizer's subordinate position. See, nobody likes to play second fiddle anymore. Everybody's got to be top dog. You see it in sports. You see it in art. You see it with Hollywood. You see it with politics. Everybody wants to beat their chest and look how great I am. In fact, that's what they do. 
That's what the athletes do. They beat their chest and then they thank the man upstairs. Don't ever say, I want to thank the man upstairs. Just say it. If you're an athlete, just say, I want to thank God through Jesus Christ. But anyway, they beat their chest and, and John says, no, it's not about me. And you know what's amazing about this? He doesn't yearn for celebrity status like a celebrity pastor. What's amazing about this is Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew says that John the Baptist was the greatest man ever born. What? The sinless son of God said that John the baptizer was the greatest man to ever walk the planet. And guess how many miracles he did? Zero. Zero. He preached a baptism of repentance to get people's hearts ready for King Jesus. That was his role. That was his lane. And he, he didn't buy for power. He stayed in his lane. As his ministry was waning and Jesus was going up, you know, he, he didn't, he rejoiced in Christ. And that's hard to do, isn't it? Let's just confess. It is hard to do. But it is the most joyful thing to do when you actually are a Christian who loves to see other people succeed and win. Like there's something really wrong with your heart if you want to see somebody fail. Like think about how bad, think about how bad that is. Think about how hard your heart is if you want to see somebody fail, if you want to see somebody struggle, if you want to see vengeance come on them, but not on you. If you, if you, you know, the deal is this. If y'all win, I win. If the City Saints ministry wins and grows, we all win. If the youth group grows, we win. If the children grows, we win. If the middle folks, us, if we grow, we win. We all win. Because we are winners in Jesus Christ, the great champion and author of our faith, Hebrews 12, 1 and 3 says. But there's way too much throat cutting and backstabbing and all that kind of stuff because we're just vying for power and position as if we're the most important thing in the world. Everybody in the church is replaceable. It's been going on about 2,000 years. When I'm dead and gone, someone's going to take my place. If I bow out and I go to Tijuana, I want to sometimes. Somebody's going to come in here and hopefully they'll preach the word and they will stick to it. And that's how it works. Everybody's replaceable. And John knew that. There's only one who's not replaceable, and that's Jesus Christ. He will never be replaced. He will never be, you know, undone. Why? Because John says in the last five verses that he is the one who is from above. 